hair, it's all around you. Tiny, almost invisible, or really, really long. Black, blonde, red, gray, or any color you like. Thick and shiny, hopefully. Shining, gleaming, streaming, flaxen, waxen. You might even try to get rid of some of it, but hair, like the 60s musical on Broadway, keeps coming back. There are few body parts that aren't covered with hair, like our palms, soles, and lips. Palms would stay the same in a hairless world, but you'd probably have different hands, with no fingernails at all. They're technically hair, they're made of keratin too. Modified hair at your fingertips. No toenails either. If you enjoy mellow bird songs, music, or the sound of the ocean, congrats, you have hair. Sounds weird, but tiny hairs in your ear actually help you hear everything around you. There are tiny hair cells with tiny bristles in the inner ear, and they kind of brush against sensory cells, which help detect sound. When you get older, some of these hairs fall out, so it's harder to hear things. But in a hairless world, we'd all be deaf, huh? Those tiny hairs help fluid vibrate inside the inner ear, in the part of the ear called the cochlea. Looks like a snail, right? <laughs> Ooh, snails in your ear! <laughs> inside the cochlea, there are lots of teeny tiny hairs that vibrate together with the fluid and are connected to nerves. But that's not all. The same tiny hairs are responsible for balance. They hang out in the ear canals that are full of fluid. When you move, the fluid moves as well. And this helps you feel where you are in space. With no ear hair, we wouldn't know where down was. So, you can't hear, you can't tell which way is up, and you can forget about walking. You'd need to have someone with hair to guide you. We'd all need guide dogs. Let's do some math. Over 7 billion humans, and only about 900 million dogs in the world. We're gonna need more dogs. We basically use hair every single moment of our life, even when we just breathe. Nose hairs can be pretty annoying. They stick out to say hello and make your nose all itchy. Why not pluck them out? Well, nose hairs are one of the best defenses our bodies have. A world without nose hair would be a totally different place. Your nose is helpless now, poor little thing. You'd inhale a lot of stuff that doesn't belong up there. You're not going to accidentally inhale a pen or a Q-tip. That's not what you have to look out for. They're too big for your nostrils anyway. Unless you shove them up there. No, it's dust you'd really need to be afraid of. No safe place for you and your precious nose, not even at home. Without any nose hair, you'd have to wash the floors at least three times a day just to avoid choking on dust that you'd normally never even notice. If you want to make a big splash at a birthday party, buy the guest of honor a robotic vacuum. Without nose hair, you'd almost never take off that ski mask that covers your face, complete with detachable transparent shield. You want to go outside? You gotta put it on. You might want to avoid mirrors. You look like an old-school iron welder. It ain't stylish, but it's the best way to protect your face. Even if you went out on a date, you'd always be wearing that thing. And you can forget about bringing flowers. The smell isn't the problem. A hairless world would still smell good or bad. Nose hair doesn't have anything to do with that. Specialized sensory cells in your nose are the ones picking up the scent. It's the pollen that would freak people out. It's game over if that stuff gets in your hairless nose. I'm talking non-stop sneezing. So much it makes your abs sore. No more roses on Valentine's Day, people. You'd have no eyelashes either. This one's a big one. You really need them to protect your eyes. Eyelashes are like a knight's shield, effortlessly protecting your eyes from dust and lint. When your eyes are closed, lashes add an extra layer of protection. It's like a fortress. Without them, you might even go blind. But these awesome shields do more than just protect your beautiful eyeballs. They also help keep your eye temperature steady, your very own personal teeny tiny trees giving you some sweet shade. If you want a business idea for a new hairless world, choose glasses. You'd make millions. They'd be a must for everyone. Sunny, cloudy, whatever. But they'd look more like a scuba mask than those new shades you bought at the mall. They'd have a built-in nose filter. Mmm, stylish. And they'd be really pricey. Like I said, you'd make millions. Most people would probably stick with their welding shield. Cheap, but effective.
Eyebrows get a bad rap, like they're not that important. Some even pluck them vigorously and end up with two super narrow lines. But eyebrows keep sweat away from your eyes, and they're sort of an anti-glare protection. It's pretty easy to solve an eyebrow problem, just pop on that handy mask. But get this, no eyebrows, no emotions. Head over to a mirror, look angry, look sad, look interested. Your eyebrows are dancing all over the place. But humans are pretty creative, they'd probably start drawing them on. Maybe stylish thin lines, or something more crazy, flowers, geometric designs. How about two black cats sleeping right there on your brow? And you know, some people would be into fake eyebrows, probably made out of faux fur. Might want to stock up on those as well, you could make trillions. Our skin that's covered with hair would suffer too. Those tiny hairs on your arms and legs protect you from all sorts of dust, dirt, and grease. Without them, that stuff would be clogging up your pores, making your skin all greasy. Yuck. The most obvious thing about a hairless world is that we'd all be bald – babies, kids, men, and women. Wigs of all kind would turn into a multi-billion dollar industry. Hopefully, they'd hire all those out-of-work hairdressers. No more waxing or shaving either, by the way guys. And no more gray hair. Calm down, Grandpa. Stress, diet, and lifestyle can all contribute to those pesky gray hairs popping out all over your beautiful head. Regular exercise, eating more fruits and vegetables, and lowering your stress levels at work and at home may help you slow down the process. Except in a hairless world. It doesn't matter anyway. It might be a lot harder to tell someone's age without hair especially if we're all walking around with scuba masks on. Our bodies would have to change a lot to adapt and thrive. The main function of our body hair is to keep our body temperature just right. It's called thermoregulation. But since people sweat and hair is the perfect spot for bacteria to thrive, people would smell less. No hair basically means no home for bacteria. Hairless people might actually be better at some sports. Not by much, though. Swimmers who shave their legs are 0.6 to 0.7% quicker than those who don't. We'd also be less prone to injuries. Hairless body parts don't swell up so much after minor bumps or bruises. If our bodies had no hair at all, our skin might be totally different. Without hair to keep our body at the perfect temperature, we'd have to use fat. We'd have to evolve some extra fat under our skin to keep our body temperature steady. And say goodbye to soft and thin skin, we'd probably develop thicker and rougher skin for protection. We probably wouldn't even have goosebumps anymore. They're formed at the base of the hair, so no hair might mean no more goosebumps. We'd have to invent another way of showing a whole bunch of feelings, like if we're cold, frightened, or excited. Hey, maybe our tongues would swell. What if we could change the way we smell instead? Like, if we're cold, we'd suddenly smell like pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Toasty. And let's spare a thought for all the people left out of our new hairless world. Rapunzel would be stuck up in that tower forever. And what about those slow-mo hair commercials? I'm gonna miss those. Yep, hair today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for everything, hair.